Hello, my precious friends. Today I would like to pray for families, relationships, marriages. The enemy is trying to destroy these things on earth. He's coming after unions. He's coming after the families. He's coming after the body of Christ, the unity between us. And he's coming after anything that is unity between two people that God has ordained. He's trying to destroy families. And if you look out into the, to the world, you can see that he actually succeed a lot. He does a lot of damage in relationships and marriages and really, really hurt people and hurt kids. And it's so many sad stories of people I know personally who are fighting each other, actually somewhere they're loving each other. But you know, when you are in a union, you need to grow together so you don't grow apart from each other. And I believe God is going to do miracles in families, in marriages. This thing here got to stop. All these dysfunctional marriages, this divorce, all these kids that are, you know, confused. They have two daddies, two mommies, half sister, half brother. And I believe God will come into this terrible situation on this planet and heal the broken hearted. He will heal and restore families. What seems impossible for us is possible for God. So I just want to pray a little prayer for marriages that are uh, difficult, where the people are arguing, they don't have any intimacy, they don't understand each other anymore, they're talking over their heads, they're, they're arguing, they have, they're two like two islands living together and the kids in these families are suffering. And this is straight from the enemy and he's using our wounds to hurt one another. He loves our brokenness. He loves that we have all patterns, that we are reacting in a dysfunctional way towards each other. He loves that we become jealous, that we are drifting apart from each other. He is behind all of this because God is love. He created man and wife to be one and to be together in harmony and grow together and, and, and live in harmony with their kids. But when you see out into the world how, how much damage the enemy has done in the marriages and in the relationships, also in in families where siblings are fighting each other, where they are fighting their parents, parents are fighting each other. So I just feel this holy burden today to pray for difficult marriages. If you are in a situation in your marriage where you are thinking about, you don't know what to do. You're thinking about maybe taking out a divorce or separate because you are two islands you're drifting apart and you don't have any good communication it's just a lot of harsh words between you you are hurting each other maybe you don't trust each other anymore you don't know if your husband or your wife is faithful and there is no love there there's no intimacy there the enemy has just emptied everything that's good out of that marriage. I want to pray for your marriage today. So Father God, I just come before you. I come before you and I lift up these difficult marriages, these wounded souls 
these people who have drifted apart from each other still they are married and they live together but there is no union there there's no passion there is no understanding there's just fights and I father God I just pray that you will enter into this difficult marriages and situations with your love I pray for a miracle to happen in these marriages today where it looks impossible and you're actually thinking about taking out a divorce. I just pray that what the enemy had planned for these relationships and these marriages to be canceled in the name of Jesus. I cancel the enemy's, enemy's plan for your marriage and I just speak over your life, over your marriage, victory over darkness. I speak the love of God. I speak healing, deliverance, a whole soul. Father God, come into these situations and create unity and understanding. Take away the prideness. Take away the self-defense. Take away the harsh heart, hearted, words all the shouting all the arguing all the temptation the unfaithfulness sneaking behind each other's back hurting each other not being able to trust each other father god i just pray with my whole heart that you will come into these deep wounds heal these marriages today heal these deep deep wounds in their soul Build up this man and this woman. Create something new. Create a new love. Create a, that you are humble and honest. I thank you, Father God, that you will restore these families today. You will come in with something new and something fresh. In the name of Jesus. I take authority over every attack coming against marriages, relationships, sister and brother, mother, father, siblings, wife, husband. I come against everything that tried to destroy these unions. Every attack from the enemy on these relationships, I break it in the name of Jesus. I speak healing over these couples. They will not divorce in the name of Jesus. They will get a new fresh start where they will fall in love again. They will sit down and understand each other and they will communicate in a new way. Thank you, Father God, that you will restore what is broken when it looks impossible, it's not impossible for you. Because you are the miracle working God and you will create new emotions, a new heart. The Bible says that you will take out the stone heart and give us a heart of flesh, a heart that has emotions. And I pray for people that have been hardened in their hearts. They're disappointed. They are keeping uh, bad uh, stuff in their heart that has happened between those two. They're holding on to all hurts. They're blaming each other constantly. They're angry, irritated, they can't let go. They haven't really forgiven each other. And I pray that you, Father God, will right now come in with your forgiving power, your blessing, your anointing, your peace, your love, your understanding. You will make clear what is unclear. What is blurry and misunderstood will be clear and it will be open. I thank you for the light of God will come into these dark places in these marriages. The enemy will not have these marriages. He cannot have this woman and this man. He will not destroy a marriage anymore. I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over these marriages that are on their way of breaking down. Father God, build new trust in this man and this woman, that they don't look back,
but they start fresh today, Father God, with a new, a new start that you will give them from heaven. Pour your oil into these wounds from the past, Father God, and create a greater understanding and forgiving, forgiveness between one another. Thank you for healing these broken marriages, repairing those walls that are cracked up where the enemy comes in and shoot at them with his arrows, not anymore. I break those arrows coming against these marriages in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood over them, protect, protect these marriages in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You see, even if it looks hopeless, we have God. He is the creator of the universe. He is hope. He is your hope. Even if you feel like you're walking in a dark tunnel and you tried everything, maybe, try God. Sit together and ask God for help. Your creator who made you, who made the institution marriage. He loves marriages. He loves you and he loves that union and he will help you who are struggling to come to a new place together. He will bless your second chance in this marriage. You will not divorce. I break that thought in somebody's mind today who are planning and thinking about moving out. I break it in the name of Jesus and I speak healing to those people who are struggling. They don't know what to do. They may have tried everything, but Jesus, they haven't tried you. And I pray that you with your miracle working power will come into this brokenness, these wounds, these bad patterns that they had for years and they may have grown from each other but you will make them grow back together again. You are a miracle working God. And I'm standing in the gap today for these broken marriages. I'm standing in front of you, Father God, and I'm using the authority that you have given me to speak against everything that the enemy will try to kill and destroy in these marriages and in these families. No more will the enemy interfere. You will build up that foundation in that man and in that woman. And that will be a testimony to the world. That will be a mighty testimony about your miracle working power. How you take, take something that is totally destroyed and you create something new and fresh and beautiful out of it. And it's going to be anointed. Your marriage is going to be anointed when you stand up together with God God's power is going to hit you both he's going to create something awesome in your foundation he's going to heal your wounds he's going to repair everything that's broken you're going to trust each other again you're going to have passion you're going to have unity and you're going to love one another for the rest of your lives God bless you. This is my word today. God put this on my heart today. I just want to come in here very quickly and pray this prayer for the broken marriages that are not broken in God's heart. He's breaking for you guys. His heart breaks for you when you have brokenness inside of you. And he has hope. He has a future. He has thoughts of peace for your future the bible says so take this word try jesus try god seek into god for answers for healing for restoration for new hope for your marriage today god bless you amen